on November the 15th, 1989, the male person entered Young's jewelry store in the Supercenter Mall carrying a small crowbar. He walked over to the display case and broke the case with his crowbar. He then removed two trays of diamond rings prior to attempting to flee the store. Mr. Edge, who was in the mall, heard the breaking of glass and saw the male person fleeing from the jewelry store. Without regard for his personal safety, he gave chase and tackled this person as he attempted to exit the building. A scuffle ensued, during which Mr. Edge was struck in the face. The culprit finally broke free and fled the scene in a stolen motor vehicle, leaving the two trays of rings behind. As a result of the altercation, Mr. Edge was injured and is still receiving medical treatment to his right knee. It is very obvious that had Mr. Edge not intervened, the two trays of valuable rings would not have been recovered. of 1989. Edge tackled the culprit and in the process suffered a broken arm and two injured knees. And Ross Warden of Glencoe helped a police officer arrest several drunken youths in a park.